I have finally done it after three months of staying away from eBay auctions because everything just gets outbid and overpriced. I finally found a bargain at an auction. Let me show you. I'll be very interested to obviously give these a test super fast. I didn't realise how good, this, obviously you can see it's tall fur, TP logo on the top there. Let's close them together to give you that softer, more forgiving feel, but let's be honest, blow the blow. we be getting rid of a lot of stuff. Now this isn't brand brand new, but the condition was great. And again, I thought I got quite a quite good deal for it. £300 I paid for the box and obviously this is why it's a good deal. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon here, and today we're going to go through another unboxing video. These are all the purchases that I found on eBay over the last week that I thought were really good deals, uh, and I'll show you exactly what I paid for everything um, uh, and why I thought they were a good purchase. And over the next four weeks, kind of being the majority of the channel, because obviously I can't go outside, like, on a, have a look at this. How disgusting is that? Like... If you lived in England over the last two weeks, you'll know the sky has not looked that good for a very long time. <laughs> and now we can't go outside. Great. But I'm a very positive person and you've got to make the best of the situation. Therefore, over the next four weeks, I'm going to be doing like live stream bargain hunting where I won't buy anything, but I'll go on eBay for like half an hour, hour, uh, live stream it and go, guys, have a look at this. And then you can have the option to go on eBay, exactly the same pages that I'm on, and then go and buy it for yourself, which I think would be quite a cool idea. I've got other ideas where I'd spend £100 on eBay. I've got 30 minutes to do it. How quickly can I find a bargain? Because I know a lot of you guys say there's not many out there, but honestly, there's like tons. I don't spend 24-7. I spend like an hour a day maybe just browsing uh, on newly listed, buy it now, auctions, whatever it might be, and then adding stuff to my watch list that I think have been titled wrong or the pictures aren't great, therefore a lot of people aren't going to be looking for them. Before I get into the unboxing, I had a lesson with Ben. Ben's been watching the channel. Um, it was a great lesson. It was really nice to meet him. He actually donated some clubs to the channel, and unfortunately we can't go and test them, but um, uh, he came up, he's got these like Frank Frankenstein clubs. Basically, if you watched my channel last year, I built loads, different clubs, different combinations, um, and it was really exciting, some of the stuff that he came up with. Um, uh, so I'll be very interested to obviously give these a test. Um, uh, how good, by the way, the Atmos shaft there, but with old school burner super fast. I didn't realize how good, obviously you can see it's tall preferred TP logo on the top there. How good does the um, black version of the burner super fast? I only thought it came out in white. Maybe it's only the TP version that came out in black. 8.5, um, extra stiff. This thing's gonna be a bit of a monster. I did actually give it a hit at the range, but obviously now we've got the GC2, we can actually go and give that a test as well. And he, dono he kindly donated them to the channel. Um, so I'll probably end up just giving these away um, uh, to one of you guys when I do a video on each of them. I actually have this black tie shaft in my three wood at the moment. I have no black tie shaft in my driver. Is that right? Or white tie in my three wood one way around. I really should know. Um, uh, and then he's got this old school tailor made rescue there. Like that is, that is essentially a 20 year old, about that, gapper. That's basically all that is. That's like a gapper mid um, uh, but old school version, I bet that absolutely rips as well. So Ben, 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 thank you. Um, uh, first of all, coming uh, having a lesson with me, but also um, donating to those to the channel. Um, uh, I really do appreciate it, and I imagine the guys will as well um, when we obviously give them away to you guys. Now, as normal, I don't actually know what's in each box. Obviously, I know what I've ordered, but I don't know what's in each one. Um, I think this might be for one of you guys, though. Um, uh, Lewis, I believe, got in contact with me um, about a week or so ago, and he just said he couldn't sell this club. Like, he kept putting it and putting it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, and for whatever reason, no one wanted to buy it. So, let's have a look. I think he had it £10, like, starting bid. Um, uh, and it's definitely this one here. So it's left-handed, which obviously is gonna cut out quite a lot of the market anyway. However, for all round, and the condition of it's amazing. First of all, Lewis, thank you again. When I do get to test this, um, and we'll do some left-handed stuff, review it, I'll probably give it away to one of you guys as well. So Lewis, thank you for sending it into the channel. Um, uh, but when it comes to like hybrid rescues, first of all, it's adjustable, which is obviously an added bonus. Um, someone, especially at the moment, like I haven't seen a hybrid go for less than £30 over the last three months because it's just so sought after. Manufacturers are backed up. It takes like three years to get your club club fitted, built, whatever. Um, uh, everyone's taking up golf, so the demand's really high. Um, and he had it listed for £10 and no one wanted it. So he said, Simon, do you want it for the channel? And I said, yes. So Lewis, thank you ever so much for sending this through. Um, and it's a good club. Like, 
If you get the right shaft and the right loft, it's going to do the job. Obviously, it's going to be more forgiving than like a 3-4 iron because obviously you've got the weight at the back of it. It looks good. I think the TP stuff, um, uh, like tailor-made stuff, overall just looks really class. So it's just a good traditional rescue. As I say, £10, that is an absolute steal. Uh, I imagine a lot of you watching this, especially if you're left-handed, like, oh, I'd love that for 30 quid, um, let alone £10. So there are deals out there. Lewis, thank you for sending into the channel. Let's get into the other boxes. Okay, so I think this is the auction that I actually won. And I was quite excited about this because it was quite close to a price. Um, uh, you could almost get these for last year. Um, uh, where did I put the standing on? They're right next to me. Right, okay. Um, uh, so as I was saying, um, uh, irons in particular, any set of iron at the moment has been going up. Now, um, uh, I will... Um, uh, keep you updated because from what i've seen over the last couple of days auctions and this is why i think i got this at quite a good price not many people are going down the auction route obviously we're in a four week lockdown in the uk now plus we're going into winter um obviously we've got christmas coming up which is something different but then second hand stuff doesn't necessarily always get bought in terms of um christmas presents so i have kind of gone from buy it now new listed where i try and find most of my bargains to actually um uh, looking at auctions because not many people are really watching them they've kind of got their bag um, uh, and finished it and then like okay I won't pick it up again until April but it's kind of a perfect time if you wanted to build a bag or add additions to your bag it's kind of the time to do it from what I've seen it might all change by the way like over the last two days I haven't got a massive array of data to go from um, uh, but from what I've seen it does seem like everything's getting a bit cheaper let's have a look MP62 irons Mizuno. Now, again, any Mizuno iron at the moment um, uh, has been going uh, for quite a lot because people just go to what they um, know, branding, everything else. They've got the original Mizuno compound grips on them as well, which is really class. And I believe I've got three to nine iron. So I paid £80 plus postage for these, um, uh, which I thought was actually a really good deal. After being cleaned up, um, uh, making it look a bit sharpish, um, uh, I thought overall, especially the condition that they're in as well, and they're just a good traditional blade. Like if you're looking for a blade to practice with, there's a three iron there. Um, if you're looking for like a good traditional blade to obviously um, work on, like any blade from Mizuno is pretty much the same as another, if that makes sense. Um, uh, obviously their forging's got better over the years, so the metal and the compound's closer together to give you that softer, more forgiving feel, but let's be honest, the blade's a blade. If you want something forgiving, these aren't for you. Um, uh, but I think once they're cleaned up, they're a really good deal. I'd say 90 pounds, I think the, I think I won it at 80 pounds the auction. 90 pounds, um, uh, I think was, I think it's 10 pound postage. But overall, I thought they looked quite good. And maybe um, uh, with a bit of clean up, obviously shafts, NS Pro stiffs, multi compounds. It's in a lot of people's wheelhouses if they want a set of blades. Um, uh, and for 90, like, I haven't seen a set of Mizuno irons for a very long time, especially at auction that's gone under £100. So I was quite happy to actually pick those up. And I thought they'd be quite a good deal. If you're looking for a blade set to practice through, when we can practice, um, uh, through the winter, obviously smaller heads, less forgiving. That's going to teach you to strike the ball well. £90 is a good start, especially a Mizuno set as well. And then um, come summer, go back to your like more cavity back or muscle back irons. So you're going to get better averages on the golf course. These are more position control out the middle monsters. Now, I've seen a lot over the last, again, couple of days, a lot of pro shops, a lot of pros um, uh, selling a lot of stuff like in very good condition as well because obviously the shops their shops at this point in time pro shops can't be open because obviously um uh, as much as we like to think they're not a um uh, what's the word they're not a necessity in terms of shops um, uh, so they have to close um uh, but um, that does mean that a lot of shops at the moment are selling off a lot of this is the time of year by the way a lot of pro shops sell off their stuff anyway because Equipment changes, you're going to get an update as fast as this year's gone. I don't know how it's gone so quickly because obviously not much has happened, but it's gone so quickly. Um, a lot of shops are going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. Now, this isn't brand brand new, but the condition was great. And again, I thought I got quite a good deal for it. Um, you guys have to let me know. But as we do like these live streams and as we do these like bargain hunt videos, you'll see like a lot of like Sims, Mavericks, um, F9 Speed Zones. 
PGA seller in the title and they'll be going for just as much as, like brand new, but as much as second hand stuff because obviously it's so difficult running a shop. Like you have to have like tens of thousands of pounds with each manufacturer at the start of the year just to even club fit for them. And then it's just 10,000 pounds sitting on the shelf. And in terms of cash flow, especially this time of year, not great. Cool. Project X shaft in a lovely little F9 speed, not F9 speed zone, just a normal F9 speed back, five wood, and it's pretty much in mint condition as well. Eight pounds I paid for this, again, postage as well, which I thought was a really good price. Now, it has got this Project X shaft in it, um, TP Stiff, um, uh, which probably was the pro's shaft that you obviously just put adapter on. I might sell it as this, I might change it to a more typical like Atma shaft, five foot shaft, um, uh, because that's probably what more people are looking for. Um, uh, but overall, head cover, five wood, 80 pounds for anything F9 at the moment is obviously a very good deal because it's sought after. Um, these were like one of the bite now prices, I think he had it listed at 95 and I went in at 70. Cheeky, I know. And he came back at 80, and I was like, that's obviously a good deal. Um, but again, with woods, five woods, three woods, whatever it is, it's just getting the right loft in the shaft. Like a lot of you would be hitting your five wood the same as your three wood. It's because you're hitting down on it too much, or you haven't got the clubhead speed. So give it to the three wood if you hit your five wood more, um, uh, and put another wedge in the bag, whatever it might be. Especially as low spinning everything is nowadays, especially the balls, the technology, everything's geared for low spin, uh, therefore, just give yourself a chance, get that ball up in the air, um, uh, and that's potentially why your five wood goes um, uh, as far as your three wood, and potentially why your three wood goes as far as your driver. Um, uh, but we can get into that in another video. Last box, I'm quite excited by, let's have a look. So, mystery, Box. Well, actually, they've all been mystery. I don't know why this one's more mystery. Um, uh, I'm uh, very intrigued by the sellotape of this box. I'm intrigued that it's survived all the way to my door, to be honest, just with a bit of sellotape around it. Um, uh, but we've got it here, and it's safe. £300, I think, I spent on this. I'll, um, again, I'll get up what... Um, I'll get up the prices that I paid for it exactly on eBay. But it's a bit of a bundle. Let's start off with this, which I'm guessing you guys are probably be more familiar with. Oh, here we go, let's get it out. I haven't snapped one of these clubs yet in one of these unboxings. I'm waiting for the day to do that. Because it's all out of my thumbnail and my title for sure. Um, uh, what's like Christmas? TaylorMade is the brand. We pretty much covered all bases, haven't we? Cobra, Mizuno. I do want to do bigger unboxings, by the way, guys. The only issue is, um, first of all, the boxes have to sit in my flat, so they don't all arrive on one day. So I'll have one box turn up, then the next box, and the next box, and then also the other side of it, then I have like a thousand pounds worth of clubs just sitting in the corridor. Obviously, I've got a very understanding why, but I can't necessarily have boxes and boxes just sitting there. I'd love to do like a massive 20 box extravaganza, but cash flow and um, uh, just general having space in the flat. I think when we've got a workshop um, and all that in the future, then obviously we can play about with it more. But at the moment, unfortunately, like I can't really have more than five boxes in the flat. But also it gives more video ideas, I guess. So if you know that handle, you'll know that this is ladies flex and the head. Not to say, by the way, that I might sell this as a ladies flex driver. Um, again, the good side of um, equipment when it comes to adjustable heads, everything else. Head cover, really clean, really nice, really tidy, which is always a good sign. And then a very good condition M2 driver head there. 300 pounds I paid for the box, and obviously this is why it's a good deal. 12 degree M2 head, which again is like, come on, condition wise is pretty much mint. I think there's a slight chip mark. You can see that in the bottom there. This camera loves to focus on my face, so bear with me. Okay, there we go. So you can see the slight chip mark on the top of the crown there. But otherwise, I mean, uh, that is virtually untouched. Um, obviously, you've got a um, lady's shaft in here, so it's going to be um, 44 inches. Um, uh, however, I might just swap this shaft out because the head condition's so good um, and just put a regular flex in. Regular flex, 12 degree. I imagine it fit quite a lot of people's wheelhouses. Um, uh, I think I've actually got an M2 head cover, like normal version as well. 
um, and then uh, I potentially can put um, this ladies flat shaft in another shaft going forward um, uh, in another club. I'm not too sure. I might just post it as um, a ladies club. Um, obviously the demand isn't there, but ladies, there are fantastic deals for you to be had. As I say, £300 for this box um, is like a good starting place and a good deal to obviously go down. Um, uh, and because there's not many ladies looking at the second hand market and I can understand why same as the men by the way same as all of you that messaged me that decided the game is so bewildering and extensive and there's so much choice where do I go what do I do um, uh, but overall realistically high loft ladies flex good condition um, as I say message me on Facebook with pictures is this all right I'm playing I've decided playing and I'll go yes or no um, uh, and it does take the experience and the know-how of where, what is and what isn't a good deal. But my best advice as well, go on recently sold. Is it going for less than what other people have paid for theirs? If so, then you've probably done a good job. And then if you don't like it, you could probably make money and sell it on for a tiny bit more. Um, and it's the only way I work out what I should be paying on certain clubs because something's only worth as much as what other people are willing to pay for it. And as I say, I don't want to be sitting with all this stuff. Mary doesn't want to be seen with all this stuff um, uh, over and over again, so it does make sense. Right, so obviously, as I said, 300 odd pounds. And by the way, what a set um, uh, that you could pick up here for 300 pounds. And I see loads of these, by the way. Um, uh, I know a lot, I know there's not a lot of you, a lot of you love these kind of videos. I do get the understanding that obviously some people are like, you should leave those deals for other people, which I completely understand. But I am one man and there's a sea of bargains and I, I'm not taking every bargain within the United Kingdom. Um, and also I like to feel that these videos educate people to actually go and spend less money on new stuff and more money on second hand stuff. So I do like to feel the balance of me making money versus saving people money is very much in my favour. But I do understand obviously like these are potential deals for people that can have but I do feel like it kind of outweighs itself when I do promote obviously the second hand club market. And also, I can't teach this one, so I need to make money somehow. Um, uh, okay, as you can tell, irons. Again, graphite, ladies flex. Graphite's always more expensive, obviously a more expensive material. Um, uh, and these are in really good condition as well, which is fantastic. M2 irons have been doing really well, actually, in terms of second-hand market. Very popular, mainly because, obviously, it's a cheaper alternative to the M4, um, M6. And they're all the same. Dare I say, same as the sim. Um, I've been club fitting for near one five years now, and there is no difference in head design whatsoever. Um, uh, again, you can say that over the last 15 years of any cavity back iron, um, you don't always want monster irons because, well, you need to get them to stock on the green somehow. Um, uh, so, as you can see, six M2 iron heads here. Um, uh, with ladies flex shafts grips in great condition heads by the looks of them again in good condition just need a tiny little clean up with a magic sponge and everything else but overall really good really happy with those say 300 pounds um, uh, and there's definitely deals to be had out there obviously I've got a deal on this because she wants to sell the driver and the irons at the same time obviously I'm the perfect buyer for that not all of you are looking for a driver and a set of irons at the same time so there's always that but hopefully watching these videos if you have a bit of know-how you know have a few boxes at home buy the irons if you need the irons sell the driver the irons would have then cost you 140 pounds something like that um which for a great set of irons um uh, in today's climate so ladies and gents there you have it there is my unboxing um i've got a lot of stuff turning up i've been buying left right and center um recently as i said obviously i feel like a lot of people are selling at the moment it's kind of a good time for me to be buying obviously i can't be sitting on it but i think i bought these at prices that even if i get my money back that'd be good as i say if i can make content and show you guys what kind of prices i'm getting for these then at least you guys can go away and find deals yourself um, and obviously fill your bag out i have this be the first year where i'm buying and selling clubs in winter which obviously is very new i think i probably start to do the best possible time you could start up a second hand club business um out of lockdown only sport you can play um and everyone wants second hand stuff so I know very well that there could be a downtime. downturn. I like to, I hope actually, I hope there's a downturn in prices. It's been too expensive um, and a lot of this stuff last year, which potentially we'll do a video on comparing prices from last year to what prices this year. And I think you'll be shocked um, in terms of what you could have got for your money. 
last year um, and basically you're paying double at the moment. So I like to think it'll go that way. I like to think that everything goes cheaper because it makes it more relatable and definitely um, better viewing for the channel. Guys, thank you for watching. Comments down below. Leave this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.